What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the if statement. So let's get started. Now the if statement is really easy to do. It's, this is going to be a very fun quick tutorial. This is my, actually my favorite part of programming, conditional statements, because you could get a lot of things done. You can make a lot of cool programs using if statements and stuff like that. So the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, I'm going to declare a variable here and I'm going to use an integer data type. And I'm going to call my variable red. As you guys have probably noticed, I love to use colors as variables. I've always done it. And it's hard for me to change. I just like to do it. So every type of tutorial I do, any type of programming tutorial I do, I always use colors. So you guys, if you haven't noticed that, you will. So let's make uh, red equal to, let's say, 5. So we declared a variable, which we named red. And red is equal to 5. It has an integer value of 5. Now we're going to start the if statement. So we're going to type in if. We're going to hit space, open and close parentheses here, hit space, this open curly brace, this curly brace thing here. And as you can see, it, it will try to automatically end, end it itself if you're using Eclipse, but you have to add another ending clo closing curly brace here. So I'm going to hit enter and uh, I'm going to add another one here, another closing curly brace. doesn't matter where you, where you put it. You have to make sure you add another extra closing one. So the good uh, programming practice, count how many open, and so then you'll know how many close you need. So I have one open here, two open here, three open here. I should have three closing. So one, two, three, there you go. Then uh, the program should run fine. So let's just spread this out a little bit here. So here is the if statement, right? We hit space, we use this open and close parentheses. So we hit space, we added this open curly brace up here. We hit enter a couple of times and we added this closing curly brace here. Now, in between this open and close parentheses, we're going to test conditions, right? We're going to test whether or not conditions are correct. If conditions are correct or if those conditions meet, then we're going to do whatever is under here. Whatever. In between this open and close parentheses, we're going to add a statement, something for the program to do. So if these conditions are met, it'll do something here. Otherwise, it won't do nothing at all. So we're going to use our variable red here. So let's type in red. And I'm going to hit space. And I'm going to use two equal symbols here. Now, the reason I'm using two equal symbols is because we're testing whether or not uh, these two conditions meet. This is a conditional uh, operator here. This, if we use one equal symbol, we're assigning value. We're assigning something or a variable, whatever uh, value. If we're using two equal symbols, we're testing, I'm sorry, two equal symbols, we're testing uh, conditions. We're testing whether or not two or more values are equal to each other. So we're going to say, we're going to see if red is equal to, let's say, five, which it is. So if red is equal to five, it's going to do something down here. Let's make it print out something on the screen. So we're going to use the system, capital S, Y S T E M dot out dot print L N print line, open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon because it is a statement, right? So we're going to uh, print something out for the user. So we're going to use this. A set of double quotes. In between the set of double quotes, I'm going to type in yes. So if the conditions in between this open and close parenthesis meet, then it's going to print this out here, yes. If they don't meet, it's not going to print anything out, or it's not going to do anything. So let's hit play here. And it printed out yes, because uh, red is equal to 5, so it printed this out here. So let's change this to, let's say, let's make red 4. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to hit play. And as you see, nothing happened, because red is not equal to 5, so the conditions weren't met. So it just completely skipped this here and went outside here. Since there's no code outside of here, it didn't do anything else. If we had code outside of here, it would completely bypass this and go straight to the code that's under here. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.